it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, we've had a lot going on here on the homestead. And just haven't really had the time or the, um, the will to do a video, I guess you could say, until I could figure out exactly what I was going to say. Anyhow, we'll start the video out with uh, an update on the uh, on the animals in the garden. I'm walking out to the garden now. So the strawberries, of course, um, they were going pretty good for a while. They've slowed down, but now they're starting to pick back up again. I'll have some to pick today, probably. Um, I went ahead and planted some onions. So that's what's in here. Haven't really done much with them but water and let them kind of grow. The tomatoes are doing good. They're already starting to pop some tomatoes out. And we've got some blooms on there as well. Um, we're gonna have peppers popping up here shortly. All the pepper plants came up and um, they're doing good. The kale is just crazy, uh, done real good, except for one plant that died, and that's what that spot there is. Um, we've actually taken some of the kale out and chopped it up real good and gave it to our chickens. Um, the celery is, it's okay. I wouldn't say it's great, but it, it's, it's okay. I think it's getting too much water. Um, we've had a lot of water, a lot of rain here. And that bed there I haven't done anything with. It's just grown over with weeds. This one here, I planted potatoes and the weeds have kind of taken over on this one as well. We've gonna, we're gonna come out and we're gonna clear this up. Uh, the one big change, I guess you could say, uh, the duck hoop is gone and the ducks are um, they've been rehomed to a, uh, a lady locally here. Um, I'll get into why here shortly. But um, we've got one duck, a female here left, the apple yard duck. She had bumblefoot. We've been working on that, and she's about ready. Um, we're probably going to take her out there tomorrow and, and drop her off and put her back in the flock. Um Let's go ahead. I'll walk over to Pork Chop and Wilma as well. But uh, all the chickens are here. They're doing good. Uh, in fact, we've got them laying eggs and laying out there in the uh, in the tree line. I just got done mowing um, a portion of the area. Um, so let's go ahead. Our apple tree, uh, this one and that one are doing good. Um, they're still they're still doing great. With that late freeze we had here, we were kind of we were really worried about it. All the peach trees that have been out, um, they're still good, and the cherry tree that made it, as well as the almond trees. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll walk over here and. Pork Chop and Wilma will be laying in the shade somewhere, so we'll just walk over near it. I haven't mowed this area yet, but that'll be, it got a little warm. Uh, that's gonna happen. So anyhow, Wilma's inside her little house and Pork Chop, of course, will be in hers, um, laying in the shade for now. So they're doing good as well. All right, we walk up front. Okay, so this peach tree is doing great. It's really growing up pretty good. I pruned it up earlier this spring. Uh, we've got these two little peach trees here. They've also been trimmed up and they're doing good. Yeah. 
and that peach tree outside the fence as well as the cherry tree which i think the deer are feeding on some of its leaves and limbs but it's still holding on this peach tree is doing extremely well this is the one my mother sent with us when we came here and we have lots of peaches i don't know if you can see that but we have lots of peaches growing out on it my truck of course right now is out i had to take it put it in the auto shop um, older trucks are evidently problems so anyhow I guess now to get to why we have rehomed our ducks um, I know there's a couple of you that have always asked about the pond the ducks were helping with the duckweed um, they've been gone a few weeks now and the duckweed is back, but we are trying to, uh, we, were, we were trying to rehome all of our animals at one point to uh, prepare for a change here on the homestead. Um, so what we're doing here, of course I've been without a job for over a year. Uh, the jobs around here are hours away for a good job, a good paying job. Um, and that just doesn't work for either myself or my wife. She got a job, but it's over an hour away. And that's not working out well for her um, or I, because it leaves me here taking care of everything. And if I were to do that, I'd be two hours or more away and she'd be here taking care of everything. So what we have done, we put our house, our our homestead we put it up on the market and it sold uh, within uh, a few days uh, we went under contract and we're getting ready to actually sign the closing papers here in the next few days um, we're moving back to texas uh, so we can be closer to family i've got parents and a sister there with her family um, and my wife's children and her brothers are in texas so we're going to go there and initially we're going to rent um, we're trying to find a rental property with land which isn't easy in itself um, and then if we get a property with a land um, that will allow us to bring our animals uh, Wilma will go back to the people that gave her to us um, they're they're wanting her to come back to their to their uh, uh, farm and they're going to actually help us and they're going to hold pork chop and all of our chickens for us until we get settled and i get um i get the areas ready for uh the animals to come there uh so um you know with with no job market for me here and no job market for my wife that we can do the internet being the way it is out here which is really basically non-existent with HughesNet. Um, I don't know, others may have better luck with HughesNet than we have, but it's just not working for us. Um, you can't have a job remote doing anything on a HughesNet satellite service. So uh, the fiber service that's coming here will be at least another six, eight months probably, uh, February, March of next year. Um, and that's if they stay on schedule, which who knows what will happen. But anyhow, we're uh, we're in the process of uh, packing and everything. We once we sign the closing documents, we'll have a little bit of time left. Uh, we've asked for some time uh, to make sure after closing that we would have uh, time to pack, time to clean, time to take care of our animals. Uh, so we've got that going. And, um, you know, I, 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 I've not put out a whole lot of videos lately um, because we've been preparing and researching and um, 
it's just not been easy to do a video where you're going from a homestead and trying to find another homestead somewhere else but you know for us it's it's uh, more important to be near family than it is to be out here um, and and at some point in the future we'll find our forever homestead I'm sure um, and we're hopeful we've got a few different options right now that we're looking at for um, for a rental property with land uh, that will allow us to bring our animals so um, like I said we're working on that but um, won't be a real long video um, I don't know I'll, I'll put out as many videos as I can in the next few weeks while we're uh, in, in the process of moving um, and I've also in August I've got a, uh, a wedding that I'm going to be going to up in the uh, the Northwest area of the United States uh, Washington State uh, my daughter is getting married in August and um, I'm driving up to uh, participate in the uh, ceremony so um, maybe I'll do some video of that tri trip up and back but we've just got a lot going on so I apologize for the uh, sparse video uh, videos that you know I haven't put out that many videos and um, so I apologize for that um, hope everybody sticks with us uh, we will be you know continuing um, we're gonna take some of our stuff with us um, of course the garden will stay and and the new owners that come here will enjoy the harvest of the garden as well as the peach tree um, I don't think those peaches will be quite ready for us to enjoy any of them, but I do plan on trying to take a couple of them and just plant the seeds and see if we can't uh, start growing our own peach trees yet again out of that out of that one big peach tree that we've got. Um, so anyhow, that's pretty much it for today. Um, it's Father's Day weekend, so i go ahead and wish all the fathers out there a happy Father's Day. Hope you're enjoying um, the day with your family. And um, see you on the next video.